So this is part five, I think, of the uh, Zachariah Aerobatics Restore. And uh, thanks to incredibly quick delivery from the legend, um, the playfield is almost there. So if I scan down, at the moment, all new rubbers have gone on, all the posts have gone back in. Pretty much the only thing that's not on there are the cleaned up plastics, which is what I'm going to put on next. But as you can see, the metal bits that got cleaned up, they're all in there. New, obviously, new white rubber everywhere. New bulbs as well. Got up just a load of uh, 47 bulbs, brand new ones. That's all new. Everything waxed and polished. And to be honest, it's looking pretty nice. Let me try and get a. It's difficult. This camera doesn't really pick the light up, so you can't really see the shine. But the colours really, really look good now that it's been uh, it's been waxed. There are a few. Um, switch adjustment issues, I think I must have caught stuff as I was cleaning and, and sort of widened gaps and things like that on some of the playfield switches but uh, I'll adjust those, like I think the, one of the spinners doesn't seem to register at the moment, I think it's just the, the gap on the switch but as you can see oops, looking pretty good so next job is to put the plastics on and then I think that's pretty much the playfield done then we're on the back box again So we've made quite a lot of progress since uh, I shot the last clip um, and I think pretty much the game's done. There's a few little bits and pieces and tweaks and stuff but pretty much all of it's working so including the lights in the back box which I'll come on to in a minute but if we have a look at the play field first of all so this is now complete all cleaned up plastics are in place so you can see and I've got used um, new white, sorry, okay, the new white rubber nuts in each of the plastics, so it's all looking clean and shiny. But like I say, the play field is done. Um, I've put some new, printed off some instruction cards and laminated them at work, so we've got new cards in there as well. Uh, and then in the back box. It turns out that all the lights being off, so all the score counters and all that sort of stuff was working, but none of the lights worked. And it turns out that it was one of the um, six volt fuses under the playfield. Just the fuse holder was really, really corroded, so we wouldn't get any juice through there. So to, to actually test that, I uh, bridged from the, the live side of the fuse holder to the uh, the pin in the back box that powers all the lights with a bit of wire, and it all came on. So a bit of sandpaper and a bit of filing on the fuse holder, and now it works. So what I'll do, I'll tell you what, let me try and uh, see if I can switch the game on, you can see it lit up. So you can see all the GI works in the back box, it's quite cool actually the way it lights up the planes and the guys had. And we've got a fully lit play field. Like I say, there are, there are a couple of tweaks and stuff but this is pretty much ready to go to Northern Lights now. So. What I'll try and do now is set the camera off and maybe shoot a quick video of me actually trying to play it so you can actually see it working and all the noises and stuff.
So hopefully as you saw by that, the, uh, the game plays really well. Um, that's the end of this video series. I'm not going to be doing any more. Like I say, there are a couple of minor tweaks, but nothing major. All, all the major work is pretty much done, and the game's ready to go to Northern Lights. So hopefully I'll see you at Northern Lights Pinball Show, and you'll be able to have a, have a game on it. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.